Hello students, I am Professor Priyanka Hoval and today we will be discussing about programming and problem solving subjects. So here you can see an overview for this subject. There are some course objectives and course outcomes for this given subject. Total marks allotted for this subject are 125 marks of which in semester contain 13 marks, end semester contain 70 marks and the practical marks are 25 marks. So today in this session we will be discussing one of the practical which is related to list. So, let us begin. So, here you can see the problem statement. Let us see what is exactly expected in this practical. So, to accept list of n integers and partition this list into two sub list even and odd numbers. So, what exactly is this practical expected? So, there should be one main list. In this list, you have to add the numbers which will be taken from the user and from this given numbers, you have to segregate these numbers. If suppose the list contains uh, 2, 3, 5, 6, 2, 3, 5, 6, 8. So, suppose these are the numbers entered by the user. So, first we have to take input from the user and you have to append all these numbers in this main list. Then later we have to maintain two different lists that is odd list and even list and whenever you are appending these numbers in the main list you also need to append this number according to what type of number it is. So, first when we entered 2 that 2 should be checked whether it is even or odd and if it is even that 2 has to be added in the even list the next number which was entered by user is 3. So, Again you have to check that what exactly that number is. So, the 3 number obviously it is odd number. So, that number has to be added into the odd list. Again next number is 5. So, again you have to check is 5 even number or odd number. So, as we know 5 is an odd number. So, it has to be appended into this odd list. Likewise you have to proceed. So, then next is 6 which is even number again it is even number. So, this is what is expected from us. So, let us begin our practical. So, today we will be using Jupyter notebook for performing our practical. So, here you can see the window. See, whenever you click on Jupyter notebook, you get such screen and then you have to go to this new tab and you have to select Python 3 kernel. So, if when you click on this Python 3 kernel, a new tab is opened where you can type your code. So, let us begin with our code. So, as we can see what is exactly expected to accept list of n integers. So, first we have to take n integer from the user. So, we have to ask the user how many numbers he want to enter. So, we will be catching that value in a integer n. So, n equal to int and as we are taking input from user, so that is why we will be using input function. So, input function will give him message that enter the count of numbers in the list. So, why do we require this number n? Because then only we will be running our loop that many times. So, we now got whatever value user will be entering. Suppose he says I am going to enter 8 total numbers. So, that n will contain 8 numbers, right. Now, again how many lists we had to maintain? We have already seen we have to maintain total 3 lists. So, first what we will do? We will declare this list. So, how do we declare a list? So, we will give name as main list which will be empty. Then we will maintain on odd list again which will be empty initially and then we will be filling them later to blank square bracket. So, this indicates that we have created three list different list which are currently empty and later we will be filling them. Now, what we have to do next? Now, as user have given that he will be entering some numbers. So, in the example we took 8. So, my n will consist of 8. So, we have to take this n equal to 8 that means 8 times you have to take the number from the user. So, obviously, we know that whenever there is a repetitive task we, task, we generally go for loops and which is the loop we generally use is for loop. So, for i in 
what range you will give? Yes, how many times it is going to take you uh, number? It will be taking number from means up to n. So, 0 to n minus 1 it will be running this loop. So, in this loop whatever things are to be done. So, we will take another variable which will be catching the single single number into this variable. So, again input we will say to the user that enter the number. So, that he will understand he what we have to enter. So, enter a number by looking at this message he will be entering a number. Then now whenever he will enter any number what is our task? We have to append this number into the main list as well as we have to check if that particular given number is an even and odd. So, if it is odd number we have to append that same number into this odd list right and if it is even number we have to append that same number into this even list right. So, now what happened we got the number now we will be appending this number into our main list. So, main list dot append and what is our number variable that is n o okay. may be I will take it as num just to avoid the confusion right. So, I will take here n u m. Okay. So, what happened now whatever number user had entered I appended the, that number into the main list. Now, what we have to check for we have to also check that if this number is even. So, how do we go for even number checking? we check for its divisibility by 2. So, if my number is divided by 2 and its remainder is equal to 0, if this is the case what does it indicate that my number which I got is an even number. So, we will be appending that number into even list. So, what is my even list variable or name even list dot append and what you have to append the whatever number we got. And suppose if that number is not divisible by 2 completely divisible by 2 what does it indicate then of course, it is a odd number. So, it will go to this else condition and here what we have to do we have to update this odd list right with the same number. Okay. So, now we are done with our logic that if See, first what we did again I will repeat you have taken a variable n and you are asking user that how many number you want to in enter. So, whatever number he will give that many times our loop has to run. So, that is why we, we are maintaining that count into this n variable. Okay. Then next we require total 3 list why in main list all the numbers whatever he is going to enter that will be appended. And what is the requirement of the problem statement that you have to check what type of number the user have entered and if it is even number you have to append that number into even list. If it is odd number you have to append it that in odd list right. Then why have we used this for loop? Why do we use any loop? See loops are generally used when, when there is a repetitive task right. So, what a repetitive task you have to do? See if the user has given that 5 numbers he will be entering. So, you have to take one number and check if it is even an odd number for 5 times. Why? Because user has told that he will be entering 5 numbers for all those 5 numbers we need to check all these things right. So, that is why whatever things which are to be re repeated we are going to add in the for loop. So, our for loop started from 0 till n minus 1 means what that many times the loop is going to run. Now, in the loop what first we have to expect that we have to tell the user to enter that particular number means first number he will be entering. When we will get that first number what is our first task we have to append or add that first number into the main list right and after adding that first number into the main list you have to also check whether that number is even and odd even or odd. So, whenever you took this number you are trying to check if that number is even in this logic for this if condition. Num modulus 2 means what it is going to check if the remainder is equal to equal to 0 when you are trying to divide any number by 2. If this is true that indicates that the particular number is 
an even number. Hence, we have appended that particular number in our even list, right? And if this condition was false, means what? That the number is not divided by 2, hmm? completely divided by 2. So, it proves that it becomes an odd number. So, in the else condition, we have written that odd list dot append the same number. So, he, this loop will run as many times the user has given the count. So, here n plays a very important role. Now, once you are done with whatever task is given, now we have to print the list. So, we will see what our list are now after performing this logic. So, entered numbers are so, here you will print the main list. So, you will get the whole list, right. Then next we will print all the even numbers. So, even numbers are which list you will be mentioning here? Our even underscore list. Likewise, print odd numbers are odd underscore list comma. So, let us run our program and check if uh, there are any errors, right. So, first it went to this line. What is the first line? Enter the count of numbers in the list. So, suppose I entered that there are total 9 numbers I am going to enter. So, after this step, when I, I will give 9 value and hit enter, this n will contain value as 9 and this 3 list will be declared and will be kept empty. Now, our for loop will start from 0 to what is my n? It is 9 that means it will run from 0 to 8, right. So, when I will hit enter, it will go into this loop. So, now here it is, it is asking me for my first number, ठीके? so suppose I give the first number as 6 and I hit enter. Okay. So, here it did its logic, but now as we have not displayed anything, it would not display at right now. Okay. Again, it will ask me for another number. So, suppose I entered 3, again I hit enter. So, how many times it is going to ask me to enter number? Obviously, I have given that total 9 numbers I am going to enter. So, it is going to wait for me to enter. 9 numbers, right. So, let us in enter any random numbers and we will see that our list are getting segregated and it will display the proper values according to our logic. So, what is remaining 2? Hmm? So, these are total 9 numbers I have entered. And now, you can see entered numbers are. So, whatever number I have entered, those all numbers, see the first print statement is this main list. So, here you can observe what is there in the main list. So, whatever number I have entered, 6, 3, 1, 4, 7, 8, 9, 2, 5. So, all those numbers got appended into this empty list. See, initially we had created this list as an empty and using this append function, what we did? We appended the value into this list. What do you mean by append? Append means adding any value at the end, right? And next line you can see even numbers are. So, here you can see from this main list as we have checked for the even numbers and appended those into this even list. So, here you can see our even list is 6, then next number is 4, then next number is 8 and next number is 2. Right, So, these are my even numbers. Likewise, odd numbers will be printed from this odd list. So, in this odd list, you can see 3 is odd, 1 is odd, 7 is odd, 9 is odd and 5 is odd. So, here you can see our practical is successfully executed. I hope there is no issue. So, that is all from my side. Thank you.